Apple's iMessage marketing strategy is falling apart. iMessage has been a beloved feature for iPhone users since 2011, and it's introduced a ton of different things like encryption, high-risk file and photo sharing, reactions, red receipts, and group chat simplicity. It is an incredible service, and I love it. But it's also introduced a cultural divide between iPhone users, blue bubbles, and everyone else, green bubbles. And the cultural divide is just the beginning of all of the problems. There are also a lot of security and privacy and usability issues that come with the current way messaging works on iPhone. And so this week, Google is launching an all out campaign called Get the Message to try to convince Apple to adopt a new technology that they think will completely eliminate the issue. And it's called RCS. So let's talk about what RCS is, why iMessage is so important to Apple. I think there's like one obvious reason and one not so obvious reason. And then number three, if Apple's actually gonna adopt this technology and make the change, because I think it's actually not as simple as it initially feels. All right, to get what's going on, you need a little bit of context first. So in 90 seconds or less, here's a quick history lesson on texting. Apple uses two different texting systems for their iPhones. The first one is iMessage, which works with only Apple devices within the ecosystem. The second is a combination of short message service and multimedia messaging service. SMS and MMS are sent via phone carriers versus iMessage, which is sent via Apple servers. And this leads to a couple downfalls for SMS. There's no end-to-end -end encryption. They can be intercepted and read by phone companies, employers, or law enforcement agencies. And the data size that can be sent is capped, meaning low resolution photos and videos all the time. Up until 2011 though, this was the best option that we had and it was very universally used by a lot of different phone manufacturers. But then in 2011, everything changed when Apple came out with I iMessage. And so to show users the distinction between the great iMessage and the not so great SMS, Apple decided to give blue to iMessage messages and green to SMS, which by the way, green actually fails the contrast test on readability, so there's that too. And with this distinction, culture shifted forever. I know that kind of sounds like a joke, but it's genuinely not. You obviously know you live in this world. There's a huge stigma, especially in North America around green bubbles. And I'm gonna explain a little bit later in the video why that is. But to bring us up to date here, in 2015, Google acquired a company called Jive Mobile. And when they did, they started rolling out the rich communication services, RCS for short, which has almost all the same features that iMessage has, like red receipts, et cetera. But most importantly, it is end-to-end -end encryption, which is privacy at the core. Apple's reputation reputation is that they're all about privacy, right? Like they just recently mauled Facebook and a bunch of other companies that were performing intrusive ad tracking. Honestly, props to Apple for doing that. It was needed. But then why have one of the two texting services on your phone be not encrypted when there's an encryption option, right? It feels kind of off brand, but here's why I think they haven't adopted it yet. Green bubble versus blue bubble has genuinely like become a part of our culture now. Like Drake talked about it in a song. It's often in TV shows and memes about it go viral on Twitter all the time. And the memes are often in favor of Apple. It's like, oh, they're green bubble, can't talk to them. Or, oh, when your green bubble friend ruins the group chat, right? So it kind of always promotes that Apple's service is a superior one. And so why would they make a change if their users aren't affected? But they are. And that's because end-to-end -end encryption is something that affects both iPhone users and Android users. And similarly, the fact that photos come through in terrible quality and videos come through in terrible quality over SMS means that if you are an iPhone user and you have a friend or family member that isn't, it's very annoying to get messages from them. And the experience is bad on both ends. So some people are even going to like third-party messengers like Facebook Messenger, which is a disaster. That's like the worst case scenario to have your main personal messages tied up with Facebook given their track record. And so I think for Apple, obviously to benefit their customers, RCS makes a lot of sense. But because Google is really advertising this, I think it's gonna be hard for Apple to make a change without Google, like doing a victory lap type of thing. So what I could see happening is Apple making a change quietly, just switching over to RCS, but keeping the green bubble, blue bubble thing. And then the question becomes, does that actually change the culture, right? If green bubbles actually mean nothing about the usability and instead it's just like an aesthetic, like they're using a different phone, will it still be a big thing in culture? My gut feeling is yes. I think that if Apple adopts RCS, it's a great first step in like ending the cultural divide, but I don't think that it will ever officially be over until everyone's bubbles are blue. Still, RCS on a feature level, we need it. So I hope that Apple does something. I'll keep you guys posted on the situation as it evolves. Hope you guys learned something from this video. If you wanna see a video on Apple's feud with Facebook and all the good stuff that they're doing there, you can click right here. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.